Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I've uh, posted any videos, but uh, the progress has, uh, there's been some progress and uh, I'm gonna give you kind of an update here. Uh, we're working on the body work. Um, we uh, did a bunch of stuff over here to the uh, rocker panel area um, on the driver's side. Um, just needed a little, uh, little straightening out and uh, most of that's gonna be covered by a uh, piece of molding anyhow so uh it's, it was a good first um first practice first thing to start on there uh, since most of it will be covered up anyhow anyhow uh the big uh the big news here is uh we're gonna start working on this patch back here i uh, i've cut the patch from the uh parts car and now uh, we're in the process i stopped right here we're starting to drill out uh, the spot welds and then we'll um we'll zip this off of here and uh we'll make the um we'll make the patch fit in there and uh then we'll we'll do the rest with uh, some filler and um and we'll uh we'll get it painted um i, I decided against doing a step-by-step -step video on the um on the body work simply because uh, this is me learning as i go along i'm making a lot of mistakes along the way and a lot of it's you know not embarrassing but um kind of frustrating so uh we're not going to do the step-by-step -step. we'll do um we'll do some updates along the way and like i said i know it's been a month but um it's just been uh, coming out here a couple hours at a time in the evening and, and getting stuff done and uh, no no big projects uh i did piddle around with a few little things i got the windshield washer uh wiring fixed that's a nightmare um whoever wired that thing in when they replaced the windshield washer jug and the windshield washer pump they just twisted the wire and uh put a little bit of electrical tape over it so it was corroded and not making good contact so i had to clean those wires up and solder them and heat shrink them and the whole bit um also we're battling some electrical gremlins with the trunk opening um mechanism uh there's a uh an open in the wire going from the body control module to the uh, trunk opening relay um, the circuit beyond the relay is good because I can jumper the relay and it pops the trunk open um, it's just not getting the control signal from the body control module to activate the relay a um, couple of things could be wrong with that it could be a bad body control module or it could be an open wire between um, the BCM and the uh, and the relay so we'll be chasing some wires uh, haven't quite got there yet um, in the meantime, there's no good way to get in the trunk other than crawling through the back seat um, or jumpering, uh, pulling the uh, relay out and throwing some jumper wires in there. So anyhow, uh, just a short update tonight, bringing you along. Um, I'm working on uh, getting this drilled out and cut out. Um, hang in there and uh, we're going to get this thing done. My goal is to get this done before July. My goal is to get all of this done. Um, before July 21st and uh, get it out on the market. So hopefully uh, we'll stick with my goal. And um, now that the nice weather's here, we can uh, we can do a lot more of this stuff. So thanks for stopping in. Um, we'll talk at you soon. We'll try and do a few more uh, regular updates as, as time goes along. But anyhow, guys, uh, take it easy. Hit the like button if you would. Uh, I noticed that I'm getting about 40 or 50 uh, views per video after a month and um most of that is tied to the amount of likes i get so if, if you could just hit the like button and uh youtube will actually put it out there more the more likes i get the more they put it out there which means the more people will view it um i'm a long way from monetizing this channel for sure i've got 25 subscribers and i believe you need a thousand to even start monetary monetizing your uh, your channel so i'm kind of doing this for fun but i did notice and um I've, there's been some other people that have done the research. Uh, people don't really like step-by-step -step videos very much. They like uh, they like the um, they like kind of like the gambling videos. Like uh, I bought a Copart car. Will it run? Is it a piece of junk? Uh, I'm gonna go pick it up and let's see. Um, that that video of mine when I went to pick up the Copart car, Copart parts the first car, this car, the project car. That ended up being the project car. That's my most watched video, and it, it has like almost 300 views, which isn't a whole lot, but 
still, so people kind of tend to like that stuff versus the step by step. Um, but I'm kind of I'm kind of doing this not only just for myself to kind of document the process of rebuilding this car, but um, there's so many of the YouTube channels out there doing uh, Lamborghini Huracans and and supercars and ZL1 uh, Camaros and and Z06 Corvettes. Um, this is a, a simple car from the Copart auction that you know anybody can buy. This this car cost me like less than a thousand dollars out the door with fees, um, and in the end, it's gonna it's gonna make somebody a good car. There's gonna be a lot of replacement parts in it, and it's gonna run well, and uh, it's gonna look good, and you know, I, I'm gonna have some money in it, but not a, not a not a whole lot, you know what I mean? Um, so the, these are the kind of cars, and, and what was funny is on one of the, uh, I think it was Sam Crack's uh, channel, um, somebody made a comment uh, about, um, hey, why don't you guys do like some common cars that you know anybody can own? And I, I replied, hey, I'm doing eighth generation Impalas on my channel, and I only have 25 subscribers. I didn't get like one view or one subscriber from that comment, so nobody really really cares about the, the common car but anyhow um enough of my whining and ranting it's a beautiful evening out uh i've got the um the uh, seam sealer stripped off of here with the wire wheel and now i'm just going through and i've got five um spot welds to drill out once i drill those out i can um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna screw this uh to the panel here and um, I'm gonna cut them both at once. That way, if I make any kind of little mistakes, I'm gonna make a mistake in both of them at the same time, and um, they'll follow. They'll follow along. So, um, anyhow, flip the camera around again. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, please, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, because that helps too. And uh, leave a comment. And let me know what you think. Um, and sorry that I haven't been posting much, but. Anyhow, you guys take it easy, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, folks, one last little tidbit before I end the video for good. Um, we got the patch cut and fitted in. Uh, it's going to require a little body and dolly work here to make these corners meet up a little bit and this here. But um, generally speaking, it looks pretty good. fits pretty well. The, the spot welds are lining up exactly where the spot welds are, and... Um, what we are going to do, uh, since I since I don't weld, and welding this thin sheet metal would be extremely difficult, um, I'm going to put backer plates behind here, and I'm going to use panel uh, adhesive, and we will just um, glue it in. Yeah, we'll glue it in, and then we'll finish it with filler, and then we'll put seam sealer back, and we'll paint, and... Um, that's going to be it for this corner, and then we'll work on the rust spot on the other side. But anyhow, um, that's it. I just want to kind of give you a little uh, peek at that, and um, we'll update you soon when, uh, when the work uh, progresses. So have a good evening. Hit the like button, please, and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll get this thing finished up and uh, off to its new owner and start on another project car. Um, which it may or may not be an Impala. I've got my eyes on a couple other things as well. So stay tuned. That'll be coming uh, later this summer, and uh, we'll keep doing this. We'll keep learning. Anyhow, thanks. Have a good night. We'll talk to you later.